Hello and happy Friday, everybody. It's wonderful to be here with you guys. Uh, we're gonna jump into our workout of the day today. So we have a 15 minute workout today. Uh, the goal of the workout is to get as far as possible into our ascending reps of three movements. So our movements are jumping, air squats, clapping push-ups, and sit-ups. We're gonna start out with three reps and we're gonna increase by three every time. So you're gonna start with three, six, nine, 12, so on, building as far as you guys can get in that 15 minutes. Before we kind of dive into and start talking about what these movements and some substitutions are gonna look like, we're gonna talk about our challenge of the day. So I'm gonna have Maddie kind of tell you guys what the challenge of the day is today. And I'm gonna get kind of close to you so that everyone can hear you. Oh, all right. You don't have to, <laughs> you can just be normal, it's fine. I'll just so, be right here. Uh, challenge of the day, this past week I wrote a blog about journaling. I recently started journaling and I absolutely love it. So. I want to challenge you guys today, I'll give you a topic, I want you to reflect back in, um, on your week, so your past week, how you've dealt with social distancing, um, being away from the gym, how you've been working out at home, um, what your nutrition's like, maybe homeschooling your kids, just write it down in a journal, something brief, maybe half a page to a page, and then Maybe you can reflect back on that in the future and show your kids what it was like um, when we went through this social distancing time. Cool, cool, thanks Maddie. All right, um, so really quickly, let's just talk about these three movements that we have in our workout today. Maddie is gonna be demonstrating these movements. We're gonna start with our jumping air squat. So she's gonna get into her air squat all the way down the bottom, she's gonna break that parallel. As she stands up, she's gonna extend her hips fully and she's just gonna come a couple inches off the ground. Nice, beautiful. That's our jumping air squat. Um, if that is a little bit too hectic on our quads today, you always can bring that into a regular air squat. So she's gonna demonstrate a regular air squat. She sits those hips back, her chest is nice and upright. Beautiful. All right, next we have clapping push-ups. So she's gonna get down, she's gonna show you guys a clapping push-up. Know that you guys can always, as always, bring these down to your knees if you need to. She's gonna make that full contact with the ground as she pushes herself up. She's gonna find that moment of hesitation at the top where she's able to bring her hands together. If that also is gonna be a little bit too um, much for us today, she can go into a regular push-up. So either in that full plank position or on her knees, making that full contact with the ground, pressing up all the way to full extension here. Cool. The last movement we have is a sit-up. If you have an ab mat at home, that's wonderful. You can always put a t-shirt or a small pillow, something behind your back if you need to. She's gonna sit all the way back to the ground. Her shoulders touch the ground, her hands touching overhead. As she sits to the top, her shoulders are gonna pass that hip crease. You guys can see that right here. Cool. Feet can be butterflied or straight out in front of you or flexed, whichever is gonna provide the most comfort and stability in this movement today. Awesome. So those are gonna be the three movements. We're gonna be increasing by three reps every round, as far as we can get in 15 minutes. So a couple of things to kind of review for today's workout. Um, again, you can go into regular air squats, you can go into regular push-ups, things like that. Um, you can always do dead bugs. If those sit-ups are gonna be a little bit too much of a challenge for you today, that's totally fine. You also have the option to increase just by two reps every time. So instead of Instead of going up by three every time, you can always dial that back a little bit and uh, increase by two reps. So our warm up today, the first thing that we're gonna do is going to be a Simon shuffle, which Colby is gonna come up and show you. Yep, he's gonna jump in the frame. He's gonna show you what a Simon shuffle is. Yeah, he's just gonna let it all hang out, and get nice and loose. Cool. All right. Uh, the next thing that he's going to do is a hip flow. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can both come up and show this hip flow. Start with a little sun salutation. Going to reach down and grab his toes. One vertebrae at a time, coming up nice and slow. And then back into our sun salutation. So he's just flowing up and down, starting to kind of open up that back line of his body. All right. 
rotate nice and low into that lunge. Beautiful. Don't mind my noises. <laughs> Walking it over to the other side. There you go, into that Samson, that warrior one, if you will. Nice and low into our low lunge and then back to the center. So that is our hip flow for today's workout. That is one flow. <laughs> you guys are gonna do 10 of those. Yeah, that was great. That was great. All right, after that, we are gonna move into our quad pose with our hip lift. So Maddie's gonna go ahead and sit on the ground with her feet behind her. Yep, she's gonna find a little bit of space there. From here, if she wants to, she can move her feet out a little bit so her butt is actually contacting the ground. There you go, she's gonna put those hands behind her and she's gonna lift her hips up to the sky. There you go, that is our quad stretch hip lift. So it should be a nice big stretch all through our hip flexors and through the front of that quad. You guys can do 10 of those so she can bring her hips down, take a breath and bring them right back up. Cool. From there, she's gonna get into 10 regular air squats. She's gonna stand on up, get her feet set underneath her shoulders, send those hips back, beautiful. Kind of trying to find that connection between her heels and the ground. Into 10 regular push-ups. So she's gonna get into the top of her plank. She's gonna make sure there's a nice straight line at the top between her shoulders, wrists, and elbows. Beautiful. And then she's gonna sit down on her bum and she's gonna do 10 sit-ups, touching those shoulders behind her and then crossing that hip threshold at the top. We're gonna do 10 of each of those movements before we move into five of each of our movements for today's workout. So that first movement is that jumping air squat. Go ahead and show us three more. There you go. Into five clapping push-ups. Go ahead and just show us three. Beautiful. Yes. One more. And then she can flip over and do five sit-ups. Again, just show us three. Nice. Beautiful, finding space to breathe between all of these movements as well. That's gonna be the key in moving through all of these um, movements today, especially as we get into those higher numbers, is finding that space to breathe in between those movements, whether it's at the top of your jump, whether it's at the bottom of your push-up, or whether it's as you come up and come back down on that sit-up. So find space to breathe intentionally through today's workout. It's a little bit on the longer side in that 15 minutes. Have fun with this one.